Foremost, I acknowledge our citizens' deep rooted concerns and grievances against the police. It is no secret that the Nigeria police force has faced its fair share of criticism in the past. Instances of misconduct, corruption, and abuse of power have eroded public trust. I am before you today to declare that such behavior will not be tolerated under my watch, and there will be proactive steps to instill discipline across the ranks. <laughs> Being appointed as Inspector General of Police is not just a title for me. It is a commitment and a calling to make a difference. <clears throat> I am here not as an individual, but as a representative of a dedicated team united in our shared vision to safeguard the lives and well-being of everyone that lives in our great country, Nigeria. Together, we will strive to build a police force that reflects the values and aspirations of the people we serve. Nigeria, our beloved country, is at a critical junction in its history. We face numerous challenges that require the concerted efforts of every citizen to overcome. As Inspector General of Police, I firmly believe that our path to a brighter future lies in collaboration, transparency, 
and the reformation of our law enforcement delivery system. I, as I exceed the leadership of the force today, I believe that I am living it better than I met it. I believe... I believe that I have added value to policing in Nigeria. I hold the firm conviction that the steady progress has been made in all the components of my promise to change the policing narratives and in our journey to restore the dwindling police primacy within the internal security architecture of the country. We might not be there, or we might not yet be there, but certainly the pathways have been clearly defined, calm foundation built and the giant strides taken for a new force leadership to leverage on his quest for a better police force.